Stop record. Hey guys, I thought I would just tap on here and say um, something about the Kindle app on Mac. Um, the interface is pretty easy once you get the hang of using the Kindle app on Mac with VoiceOver. Um, so when VoiceOver is on and you open the Kindle app, if you already have a book like going on, um, I think it'll just pick up your most either recent red book or uh, perhaps the one you used last on Mac. Um, so it'll show the current book in the page and, and you can select if you want it to pick up from whatever device you last uh, had it access to it on or whatever it'll tell you. Um, and then if you want to change like the book and go to a different book, all you do is you push control option command and space all at the same time while you're in the the current book that you're in and it brings up uh menu options one of them is press and the other one's menu um don't pick the menu one always pick the press because even though it there's nothing there it doesn't have like the label just says press but when you select that I item um the kindle library will be there and you just click on the library tab and then once you're in the library there um you won't see the books right off because it'll uh there's other tabs to interact with but if you start tabbing just tab a few times and it'll get to the like sort options and then it'll start reading every single book title that's in your library and i've learned that um i, I had a quite a bit of difficulty till I learned it. It's like you learn as you go and you learn interfaces and how to interact with them using key commands. Um, and sometimes they're different for different apps too. So I just wanted to um, give a quick shout out to the way Kindle's accessibility is. Well, the way the interface is laid out and the way we have to maneuver it using voiceover. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's been a nice reading experience. I read a lot today. Like I did more reading than <laughs> anything else today. I um I had my um this is my Orbit reader. It's turned off right now, but um I had the NLS book reader going, my Braille display all day and I just now recently put on the charger and I switched to this one and I was still reading. So I guess I'll share this little story also. Um, yesterday I was making dinner and just like the general public out there, blind individuals do cook for themselves. Like I can make, um, you know, ground chicken and ground beef. I've made stew, chicken and dumplings, uh, spaghetti, different types of stuff, but I'm really good, good at spaghetti. Um, and I'm good at like anything with like meat, like taco meat or, you know, beef or, um, I made chicken the other day and it was good, um, ground chicken tacos. So, um, I was trying to reorient the pan on the stove and it, as someone who's blind, we can't see obviously to know like how much to move the pan a certain way so that it's on the burner correctly and not hanging off or you know that way everything cooks evenly and good and you're making sure the whole deal like the whole pan gets cooked and I uh, reached over and I was like doing everything right like putting it back in center and then my finger grazed the side of the pan my pointer finger and on my left hand and oh my gosh it was like so I kept putting it under water and they say don't put ice on it and I was doing that too but I felt like that was making it worse and then I went in search of um some ibuprofen or Tylenol and I took whatever I could find you know like because um if I'm not constantly um in need of it it's like where did I put it so it's a massive search for that and frantic and like oh my finger's on fire and it was one of those burns where no matter how much you try to quench it with water, it's not going to go away right off the bat unless you um, take something to help relieve the pain. Oh my gosh, it was bad. But it's good today. And, you know, obviously my fingers are very important to read Braille and to do all kinds of stuff. And, you know, as adults, we all once in a while 
do that where you burn yourself on the stove or a pan on the stove or a flat iron or a, a, a one of those like the clothes iron Ooh, that would suck or the um you know the curling iron I, I've had that before that burned a lot um but yeah so but I mean so I ate one taco last night and you know because I was really upset with myself and like about the situation itself you know trying to get it taken care of but needless to say um now I I know you know and now I know I can make ground chicken just as well as I can um ground like beef you know and it's fun to like experiment and obviously like I google google stuff like how do I make pork chops in the air fryer you know how long do I you know and so I'm constantly googling and it's just that like feeling of like I want to venture out of a little bit of my comfort zone and not all at once and not in like huge giant leaps but just you know here and there so anyway so I hope everyone's doing good out there um see you next time thanks for watching show capture stop recording button